Woohoo! This is probably one of the crazier things I've done. Is a snowstorm coming through, and Indy and I are heading out for a snow camp. Hi, Indy. <laughs> yep, Indy's come with me on this trip, and that means an extra sleeping mat. Otherwise, she's going to be freezing. And an extra dog sleeping bag. She lives the good life, for sure. Yeah, it's not only snowy, it's very, very wet. So, this is going to be interesting. Finding somewhere dry enough to camp. But you know, you can always make a plan. What I'm looking for is somewhere that's going to be dry enough. Give you a bit of wind protection because it's actually quite windy outside of the trees. And isn't going to get heavy snowfall. Maybe a bit, but not too heavy. That looks pretty good. Serious fail on my part. Last time I used the tent, when I got home it was wet and I separated the fly and the main part of the tent so that they dry more quickly. Now of course, I didn't put them back together, so now I'm having to try and fluff around as it's getting late. It's like 5.12 winter evening so it's actually quite dark and I actually need to get the tent up quickly so um, yeah don't do what I did make sure you put your tent back together
Right, just getting a bit of kindling to light the fire. Most of it's shooting over the back of the firebox, but hey, some of it's going in. I've got this firebox. Um, it's a flame pack, what, UCO flame pack, portable grill fire pit. And I decided to bring this along with me, added a bit of weight, but I knew the ground would be really wet. And um, it's actually quite good because even when it's going, you can move it around if you're careful. So I've got to be, I want to have it close enough to me that it's under cover, but I might change my mind and end up pushing it further away. So it's good that it's portable. All right, let's see how that goes. Let's give it a go. You'll see that I'm cheating and I brought in a bit of kindling. But I'm really glad I did. The bush here is so wet. I mean, look at the ground. Oh, I don't know if you can see. It's really mossy and wet. And there's all bits of ice and stuff on the ground too. So, yep, I cheated. And I'm so glad I did. It was well worth carrying it in. It has lit really easily and that's going to be nice and warm. How are you doing, Indy? You're not grumpy, are you? Hey? You wondering when your dinner is? Do you want some dinner? Ooh, you do? Right, I think we better get into her dinner. Got the fire going, give her some dinner, and um, then I'm going to get my dinner started. Oh, there's the wind. And the rain. Might get some nice rain and sleet sounds on the tarp and tent tonight. You didn't get to see much of me setting up the, um, the tent and the tarp because it got dark, but you have to trust me it's all set up and you can have a look at it in the morning so these little things are awesome you get them in sushi um, packets here in New Zealand and you get takeaway sushi and um, they're great for putting things in like oil or lime juice or soy sauce um, they usually have soy sauce in them when you get them with your sushi pack, but I stuck some olive oil in there so that I can fry up some onions and mushrooms. Right, do I just stick the whole lot in? Yes, I do. I'm going to stick the whole lot in. So that's onions, red onions, mushrooms and broccoli. Because I decided I'm going to do something super easy. You might be thinking, is that super easy? But I think it's super easy. I just slice that up at home. And I'm just going to chuck them in with some instant noodles. I'm not really um, that keen on freeze dried meals and things like that, so I'd rather take a bit of time to cook something that's tasty and nutritious, if I can. And I can. And while that cooks, 
it's one o'clock. Another great little invention, these pouches. It was some sort of promotion for my kids' school a few years ago. And I think the idea is that you can put things in there like juice and yogurt and things for your kids, but I put wine in there. So thanks for joining me for this trip. Quite nice to have somebody to talk to. I do like going out on my own though. Not because I don't like going camping and hanging out with friends and my husband and my children. I do, I, I really love that. There's also something really nice about the solitude of being able to go away on a trip like this on your own. People often ask me, how do you, how do you do that? How do you go away on your own? And you know, what they're really asking is as a female, how do you? How are you okay with that? It's quite unusual for girls to go away camping, hiking on their own. Um, and I never would have normally done it. In the past, it would have been quite a big deal for me. would have automatically assumed the worst. But that's what happens usually, hey. We assume the worst. That thought comes into our head. And um, we don't really question it. And I've just... All I've done actually is I've just started questioning my thoughts. Like, is it actually true that I'm at some kind of risk being out here on my own? I mean, like, really and truly? Or is it actually just a perceived risk? Like, am I really sure? Am I 100% sure? that I'm going to come to some sort of harm out here on my own. And when I test my thoughts, I realise actually that they are pretty empty. The chances of something happening to me out here are so slim. Like slimmer than the risk of something happening to me in the city on the road. I don't want to let some sort of automatic negative thought, some kind of perceived harm, rob me of all the good things that I can enjoy in life. And this is really good. I wish you guys could see the little bits of fine snow that are just floating down. I, I bet you can't. My filming ability is not quite there yet. One day, I mean hopefully you'll see as my videos go on that I graduate to some, some better filming. 
it can only get better because it's not that good now I'm going to finish getting this dinner ready and then um, it's time to eat Right, so we have got for dinner instant noodles with mushrooms, red onion, broccoli, rocket, spinach and coriander. Not a lot of effort at all actually. Pretty fun. I decided to leave the water in and make it a bit of a soup because I haven't really had a lot to drink this afternoon getting myself here and getting set up so yum dinner. Right I think I am actually going to treat myself and watch an episode of one of the Netflix shows I'm watching and eat my dinner. So goodbye everybody. Cheers. Thanks for watching and coming along on this little trip with me. And I'll see you after dinner and a movie. Oh, can you see? Ah, oh, can you see that? See there's little bits of I don't know if I'd call it snow. It's still a bit sleety snow but it is it is snow oh yeah yeah i can see some softer pieces coming down now Ooh, this is so exciting so exciting all right guys see ya good morning indy <laughs> okay all right okay good morning i know you're excited and you want to get outside Wait down and I'm going to open up for you. Okay, out the way. I don't see any snow. There's definitely a lot of debris falling on the tent in the night. But I think it's um, just been made in sticks. It's probably a good thing. Even though it would have been really pretty. Right. I'm going to get a coffee on the go. And some breakfast. <laughs> Did you hear me say breakfast? It's it breakfast time. Oh, yes. Yeah. Breakfast time, red eyes, green eyes. While she scoffs down her breakfast, I'm going to start getting my breakfast things ready. Beautiful view this morning down to the river. The river's up pretty high, you can see it's quite um, quite swift. It's not normally like that. It's normally about 
maybe a third of a size, like you could, you're tempted to almost try and jump, jump across it. Not today, that would not be smart. Porridge looks good. I'm going to give my hands and face a wash and then I'm going to start hacking up. Oh gee, it is really, really cold. Oh. Right, we're on our way back to the car. All packed up, full load of gear. My footprints from the way in, footprint from the way out. I don't think anyone else has been here. Don't know if you can see the rain there, it's coming down pretty solidly now. Oh, all right, not far to go now. Tell you what, I'm looking forward. Check out this beautiful little clearing here with the snow. 
That is so cute. I guess people that live in snowy countries aren't really that excited by that, but it snows up here in the mountains, but it's only twice snowing down in the area that I live in since I've lived there. So it's a pretty big deal to me to be in the snow. It's fun. Woohoo! <laughs> Someone else is enjoying it. A wet, soggy monster. Ah, the road. Yes. All right. Well, that's good. The roads are nice and clear. I'm actually really grateful. Even though snow would have been fun. I actually think the idea of snow is probably more fun than the reality. Certainly the reality of having to put chains on the truck and drive out on the icy roads. Wet roads. That's easy. Right. Fingers crossed it's still here. <laughs> yes. There it is. Nice. Yes. Right, so that was a cool trip. I mean, it was uh, very cool, very cold. It was cold, it was wet, it was dark in that forest. Um, it got dark really early as well because it was so dark and it gets um, dark here at about half past five um, at night. There didn't seem to be a lot of um, daylight. But I had a great time and this is the kind of trip I normally wouldn't do. I normally wouldn't go out in, in the cold, but um, just in the last couple of years, I've started doing more cold weather camping and solo stuff, and I really enjoy it. I really enjoy the challenge, um, and you just feel so alive, and this, you, you just don't have space to think and worry about anything else that's going on in your life. You're just um, focusing on what you're doing in the here and now, and I think that's really unusual to be able to do that. In this day and age, so I really love it. Yeah. What about you, Indy? Indy. Come. Did you have fun? Oh, you've got your ear inside out. Nice look. She's more interested in looking out the window. Um, speaking of looking out the window, I don't think you'll see much, but I'll show you what I'm looking at right now. A beautiful high country lake. Really beautiful. All right, so um, we've got um, a pass to go over where if there's going to be any snow, that's where it'll be, but I'm not anticipating it's going to be bad at all because we're not far from there and it's raining, it's not snowing, so I think it's going to be a pretty easy trip home actually, which is great, really, really good. Uh, might stop off for a coffee on the way home and um, yeah should be a good drive.